If you're trying to decide on the best solar panel, in this video we're going to compare two of the best brands, Tesla panels versus Panasonic. We're going to take a look at the cost, we're going to look at the efficiency of these panels, we're going to look at the temperature coefficient, and while that sounds really complicated, it actually isn't, and I'll explain what that is here in a second. We're going to take a look at the warranty, and we're going to take a look at whether or not these companies provide a complete solution. And for this video, we're going to be taking a look at these specific models. These panels were chosen because they're considered to be some of the best panels each manufacturer makes, and they stack up well against each other. All right, so first let's take a look at the efficiency of each of these panels. Now with the efficiency rating, this is really just a rating to tell you how efficient these panels are at converting sunlight into energy, into electricity, that's gonna power your home. Now the thing to know here is with this rating, the higher the number is, the more efficient the panel is at converting that sunlight into energy based off the same sun exposure for each of these panels. The higher the efficiency rating, the fewer the panels that you need to be able to supply your energy needs. So for this comparison, Panasonic's the winner. All right, now let's take a look at the temperature coefficient. Now, this is that thing that sounds really complicated, but honestly, it's not. All this is showing is as a solar panel gets hotter, it loses its ability to convert sunlight into electricity. Now, I know that sounds weird, but that's how solar panels work. So with this number, we want a number that's closest to zero, and there are no panels that are zero. All solar panels lose energy as they get hotter, but the closer the panel is to zero, the less energy it loses as it warms up. So as you can see here, Panasonic has the advantage. Now this is gonna be a more important factor if you live in an area like Arizona or just the desert in general where it's really hot all the time than it would be if you lived in an area like the Midwest or somewhere on the East Coast. Now let's talk about the warranty of these two panels. So as you can see here, here's how the warranties compare to each other. And the thing that you need to understand about solar panel warranties is that there are typically multiple warranties in play. So not only do you have the typical manufacturer's warranty that covers any kind of defects with the panels themselves, but you'll also typically have a performance guarantee which tells you how much uh, performance you should be able to expect out of that panel at the end of its life or at the end of the warranty period. And there's also a labor warranty as well with some brands that will cover the cost of replacing anything uh, that doesn't meet the specifications during the warranty period. So some manufacturers have the labor warranty as well and some don't. So that's one of those things that you really need to pay attention to in addition to what level of performance should you be able to expect out of those panels at the end of the warranty period. All right, now let's take a look and see if the solar companies offer a complete solution. Now, the way we're defining a complete solution for this video is two ways. One, we're looking to see if the solar manufacturer either provides installation services themselves or if they have a network of certified installers. So if you go with a certified installer, you'll have that extra peace of mind that your system is getting installed per the specifications of the manufacturer. The other thing we're taking a look at here is whether or not these companies provide additional components for your home solar solution as well, other than just the solar panels themselves. There are a lot of things that go into a home solar solution if you need any kind of warranty work. It's way easier to have one point of contact, one company to work with to resolve any type of issue that you may have in the future. Now, before we talk about costs, I wanna point out that I have additional videos on the channel that will compare different brands and different models to each other. And in addition to that, I've put together kind of this master list that's available on my website. So if you wanna see data comparisons between different brands and different models all in one location, then just go to tophomeowner.com forward slash solar. Once you're there, you'll be able to access the list, which will not only give you comparisons across all the top brands and models that's available on the market today, but you'll also be able to see additional data points as well. So that will give you some additional clarity and help you make the decision that's right for you and your house. So again, if you're interested, just go to tophomeowner.com forward slash solar, and also put a link in the description below so you can go and visit that after the video is over. Now, this is how these panels stand up to each other at this point. So let's transition and talk about the cost. Now, when it comes to cost, we can compare the cost of each of these panels to each other. But if you're looking at these two panels, most likely you're looking at a whole house solar solution. And if that's the case, just giving you the panel cost is not really gonna give you an accurate representation of what it would take to have home solar at your house. So in order to do that, you really need to understand additional factors, including whether or not your house is a candidate for solar in the first place. And in addition to that, you need to look and see what the costs are for the insulation process, and also whether or not you want any extras included like battery bank, and that would provide you with solar power at nighttime, the rebates, any kind of incentives from the federal, state, and even the city level. All these things factor in and play a part into understanding what the total cost is to have solar at your house. 
So honestly, in order to get an accurate idea of what the cost would be for a solar system, the best thing to do is to just get a quote from a reputable solar company. In order to make this process easier, I've teamed up with SunPower to be able to provide you with an online quote. Now, the advantage SunPower has over other local installers is usually that they have to come out and actually set up an appointment with you, schedule time with you, come out to your house, look at things like your roof and your, your house and all these things in order to be able to provide you with a quote. With SunPower, all they have to do is pull up a satellite image of your home. They can lay out all the solar panels virtually. They can an answer all of your questions that you might have, and they can provide you with an accurate quote, an accurate idea of what it would take to have solar at your house. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a link in the description below that you can just go and click on, and that will take you to SunPower's website where you can set up a free consultation. And if you're wondering, here's how SunPower compares to the other two panel brands that we looked at in this video. Now, if you're not ready for that, that's okay too. I also have a link in the description below that will take you to my website where you can see a master comparison sheet of all the different solar panels that I've compared. This is gonna give you a good idea of what's out there on the market today when it comes to the top solar panels. And it'll also give you additional comparison points to be able to look at too, to see you know, what panel is and what solution is right for you. So if you're interested in that, I'll also have a link in the description below where you can go and check that out. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and I will see you in the next one.